Lincoln, I had a bunch of ideas for bits today. And by ideas, I had nothing. And so I thought it would be fun is to go through the Grace College podcast, right? And, and look at the names and kind of read the names, kind of like we did for our podcast when we read our names. And it was a great time and we all laughed. You want me to be a part of this? No, you don't okay. Have to be. But listen, I, I almost. So I went and looked at the, at the, at the podcast, Grace College podcast. And yes, they have a podcast. All right. And yes, they have 400 episodes. Uh, so do we. And yes, they've been going for two years. I imagine more people listen to this one than that one. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate, but let me tell you this. Why not? They didn't have good titles. So we're not going to go through it. So I had to rearrange. I came up with a great bit for us to crush it on today's episode. So get ready. All right, let's get We're right on. into this. Tim, we've got an exciting beverage. Uh, Did you get my beep in the in the recording? We'll fix it. That's so hard to edit. Okay, well, Guys, it's okay. It's I've right. already brought so much energy into this podcast. If you take it away, it'll be gone forever. <laughs> all right, so we're getting excited for this beverage, right? What, so what, 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 what are we going to pump for? We haven't had any beverages yet. Guys, last week, That's Lincoln, Lincoln asked if we could do pumpkin beers. And so I went to the hey, liquor Tim store. Hey, Tim I'm gonna get another beer while I'm waiting. Okay. Is this right, gonna okay. take? Okay. Yeah, okay. Just start pouring. Just start pouring. I just wanted. Ask, I wanted to do it at the same time. Okay. Three. Go. Oh, do. You, three. Okay. Oh, that sounded legit. That was exciting. Okay. All right. I'll yep. pour as you get. Oh yeah. Is it? So last last week Lincoln asked us uh, to drink pumpkin beers. I went to the liquor store. I got some pumpkin beers. Timon got the. You got the. Sorry, I'm gonna interrupt. You got the correct number of pumpkin beers. Yeah. Which is four total. Mm. So man, look at that. That's crazy. It's a nitrous beer. Uh, you guys can see it on camera. It, like right now, the the liquid is liquefying and the foam is dispensing. And so yeah, this is a nitro imperial pumpkin ale from Southern Tier Brewing Company. It's only it's seasonal. And on the top it says nitro, nitro, nitro. Look at that. That looks good. Yep. Uh, I'm not gonna hold that over the computer, but in case That's you good. want to see oh, it. In case you want to see it. Yeah, up, that looks good. Uh, I feel really mm-hmm. good about that pour. That, that was a beautiful pour. I, on the other hand, just poured mine straight into the cup. Timmons beer will be flat. For Yeah, it'll be solid. I'm really excited to try this. We put the glasses in the freezer also, so the glasses yeah. are cool. Um, this is great podcasting. I mean, the thing I was saying is, like, look at this, look at this, so that they have to go over the pot to the YouTube channel and actually look at it. Or don't. It's cool. I'm um, telling you, I'm telling you, I'm not shadow banned anymore. On YouTube or vaccine. Twitter. Vaccine <laughs> or Twitter, dude. Uh, YouTube or Twitter, bro. They're, they are definitely not shadow by me right now. It's kind of beautiful. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can drink this, too. I want to drink it together. I want to drink it together. Oh, man. You put so many stipulations. Cheers. That's nitrous. Oh, wow. That is nitro, dude. It tastes like pumpkin pie. Yeah. Wow, that tastes really good. It's really sweet. It's yeah. very sweet. Um, Southern Tier. See how that goes? Nitro beer, um, there was only two of them left in the mm. back of the liquor store, and I said, you know what, I'm going to try this. Festive. <clears throat> you know you know how I feel about this beer, Timon? Yeah, tell me about it. I would drink one, maybe two. I would drink no more right. than one, maybe or maybe two a year. Yeah. So that's, you got the correct <laughs> number Four, of beers. total, yeah. Four. So they're like have, 8%, almost 9%, so they're pretty hefty, too. Yeah, we can have, uh, we can all have one, maybe two. Yep. And then it's, You'll be done. it's done forever. Yeah. The perfect time to do it. And then we also have been sipping on this uh, Juicy Drop Hazy IPA from Breckridge, Breckenridge Brewery. Been there. Good Tim, time. did this just turn into a craft beer podcast? Welcome to the craft beer podcast. And we're back, listeners, with your favorite craft beers. Yeah. No PBRs in this podcast no this PBRs week. Podcast. This week. Yeah. Because well, we did that last week. I know. Yeah. But, I mean, PBR is kind of like craft beer. I feel like... Mm. No Michelob Ultras this week on yeah. this podcast. Good stuff. Dude, so I did. I, I was telling you about I did that podcast with my dad last week, right? Definitely. And I did the camera, and I've, I've been looking back at the footage, and the camera's whack, bro. It's it's It took pictures and filmed me at the same time. Mm. Like full paparazzi experience. Wow. All I want is just one clear video. I don't want mm-hmm. four minutes of video and then a picture, and then another three minutes of video, and then another, another picture, if you, if you catch my drift. So... Um, I'm hoping it's not doing that for this podcast too. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. 
we may have to stop mid midway through and just it'll let me know. We'll 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 get it figured out. But folks, oh. we're back. All right. Okay. Uh, does anyone enjoy the That's really beer cool. drinking review part of this podcast? No. No one's really addressed it. Yeah. Um, it's something we've we we're doing for you guys. Yeah. It's not something we, we do in pleasure. It's not. It's not like we have to do this. Yeah. It's not like part of our daily. We drink ritual. this beer for you. Yeah. Um, people do. People do mention it. Um, but in the sense of like when they're starting a conversation, they'll like crack open the beer, like how we start a conversation. So in that in, in that sense, I think maybe right. This is something we've been doing for a long time that yeah. no one has commented on ever. Maybe they have subconsciously. Maybe it's not something they've like said to us out like right up front, but it's something that they've they've thought about and then mentioned to us, but not like in a way we would understand. You know what I mean? I know in a tangible way that hey, this is a comment about that specific thing you guys do. We, we appreciate it. I don't think anyone who listens to this podcast. Yeah, no one listens list, to this podcast. I, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I I think that no one who listens to this podcast yeah. listens to it after about three p.m. I bet. Oh really? You think they do it in the? I think people do it in the morning. Yeah, no. After no one does it oh, after, after three p.m. Three p.m. Probably. Yeah. This is a morning podcast. Morning podcast. I beg to differ, dude. I do it in the evenings. So I listen to it in the evenings. Yes, one of those seven downloads is me. <laughs> All right. There are some podcasts. So it's a work podcast. Do it at work. Yeah, there are some podcasts where you 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 could put it on at night and watch Joe Rogan talk to somebody, right? And it would be like a show. Uh, Ours is not that good. Oh, it's great. No, it's like Joe Rogan has his lane, but have you seen his titles? Not that funny. He gets a lot <laughs> you know of downloads. Saying? I'm just saying, we got our niche. It's funny titles, and we're going to stay in that lane, and we're going to yeah. grow. It's going to be beautiful. He has all of the downloads, and we have none of the downloads. We have as many downloads as we want. Joe Rogan is like, you too, you get his podcast on your iPhone, even though you don't want it. Like anyone who listens to podcasts, yeah, their their phone just downloads what you're Joe saying Rogan is, if, episodes if, automatically without their knowledge. Yep. Usually, part and of the contract deal. But what, what, and they you go saying? and they go and look in their storage settings, and it's like, why is fifty percent of my phone storage taken up with podcasts? And it's because you have twelve Joe Rogan podcasts yep. downloaded on your phone at one point. Yep, on your new brand new iPhone, yep. it just happens. You have one hundred and fifty gigabytes of Joe Rogan podcasts, and it's. There, 12. I mean, there's websites how to get Joe Rogan off your phone, and so yeah. it's like it's, I mean, you go on. It's a wiki how it tells you how to delete the actual in twelve thing. steps. Yep, big um, pictures for the boomers. If you know what I'm talking about. Yep, I can't yeah. tell if that. Uh, so website what, you, what is what is a that joke? Say? It's not. It helps me out so much. Dude. You know yeah, it feels like really, really high I've level had to satire. There. No, it's like, this <laughs> no. is how you do it. And then it's like cartoon drawings. In a, in, a, in a way so simple as to make fun of your intelligence. <laughs> right, right. And I, I, it's uh, helpful because for me, I need simple steps. And they do a good job of providing those for me. But I want to ask you, are you saying that people that don't listen to Joe Rogan are just like kind of still stuck in the Stone Age? Is that what you're saying? Because if, you know, or, or Android users? What are you saying? Um, what I'm saying is... If you haven't listened to Joe Rogan, you're not mainstream. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying if you haven't listened to Joe Rogan, you probably have never listened to a podcast before in your life. Oh. I'm saying 100% no, of no. I think 100% no. of people who have listened to podcasts have heard Joe have heard a Joe Rogan podcast. One time. Yeah, at least once. I don't know about that, man. Every person who It's a bold who has statement. participated in listening to a podcast has probably heard a Joe Rogan podcast. I bet we have people who listen to our podcast. Who have never listened to Joe Rogan? Not even a little bit. Uh, I think so, dude. Yeah, think yes. you're thinking from such a male. We have a banner. It says Alpha Female Week. <laughs> you should think of. Do you think only men listen to podcasts? Is that what you're saying? I think Joe Rogan has a lot of female listeners. I don't know. That, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's part uh, of his success. I think a lot of people know who Joe Rogan is, but I think there's people who don't. You know what I'm saying? Sure. People who don't to listen to podcasts don't know who Joe Rogan okay. is. Right. We're, We're making argue the this. same point. No, okay. All We're I'm making saying the same is point. the whole the, you're you're crapping on our podcast. That's not too bad, dude. No, we have great names. I'm just we I get tons of listeners. listeners we have you one listeners <laughs> out of 100 percent of you. Have any of you yeah, not no, listened to Joe that. Rogan a little bit once? Right. We can definitely ask that question. Yeah, I am right now. I'm saying 100 percent of our podcast audience has listened to. 
uh, a portion of a Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, before. any portion, like one episode is the minimum. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying any portion, one clip is enough. No. Because it's clipped up, yeah. Definitely. That's a podcast. Okay, you're switching the rules on I'm us. Not. That's classic Lincoln. But let, let's get, like, wait, wait, I want to, I want to, um, <laughs> I would, I, do you think your uh, aunt has listened to a Joe Rogan podcast? Yes. Elisa has? I imagine she has, yes. Okay. Cody? And I know that your wife listens to Joe Rogan. She has. Yeah. Oh, because no. I have. I think also the other thing about Joe Rogan is he is now only on Spotify, so it's a very niche, narrow way to get to him. Sure. But right? like, so if you put for forever in, he wasn't. And so I'm talking about any time in history, the past 10 years of podcasting. I don't know. It's a bold statement. Every I, person I who listens clip, to I think our the podcast clip move is really weak, man. One has full listened episode. to any portion of Joe Rogan. One full episode. Because if they've listened to our podcast, we played a little bit of Joe Rogan. At one point, we had the episode talking about how Joe Rogan listens to us. All you know I'm saying, saying is, so if I we're doing by the clip, that does not count because, like, so they then heard one minute of Joe Rogan on our podcast. Does that count? Does that count as a listen to Joe Rogan? Counts. I don't think uh, so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm just saying, popularity wise, how else would you describe how popular and he's he is? popular? I don't know why most I feel of, like dump on our podcast. I'm just saying, most <laughs> of the people who listen to podcasts listen to Joe Rogan, yeah. statistically speaking. And in the future, most of the people who listen to podcasts will be listening to the Tim and Lincoln yeah, show. Yeah, that's fine as well. I'm okay with that reality. <laughs> Why are we arguing about what numbers mean, Timon? I'm t- well. The the reason why we got into this pot was because I said I was shadow banned and I'm no longer shadow banned. Yep, is what you <laughs> so, <laughs> definitely. I'm just saying we're getting the listens, bro. We're getting the downloads, and they and I don't know. <laughs> and I made a joke about Joe Rogan gets all the downloads, we get none of the downloads. I'm just giving you a tough time here. I I do have something I do want to tell you. Okay. Unless you want to keep harping on the Joe Rogan train, we can. He's a beautiful Why man. Why is it a, a, a controversial a take to say that uh, a lot of it's people not, have heard of it? I think it? I think you're just mad that I'm pushing back a little bit. And that's what the people love is when we push back. You're and pushing. that's why we're going to be... All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> have you guys seen the female, Alpha Female Week banner above us? It's... Um, I'd like to get into that at one point, but I do want to tell you... You know how... We, we could never get into that. We could never get into that. It'd be fine. Yeah. We're never going to get this into the... This beer is so good. <laughs> we're never getting into the uh, Grace College podcast. Mm-mm. We're never going to read those. And we're never getting into how we got this banner. Or how you got this banner. This they is could, a new thing. What if Grace College wanted us to come on their podcast? Oh, they they should. That would be incredible. They, they had um, uh, jo- uh, John Handling. Oh, what is his name? He, he has one of the biggest YouTube channels for Legos. Like millions of subscribers in uh sure. He was in my accounting class, so I know him. We're friends on Facebook and he was on the podcast. Wait, 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 wait. Bike guy? John Hamlin? No, oh, no, no, no. You're thinking Josh. Him. Him. <laughs> His name was Josh? Hamrick. Hey, yeah. Uh, no, he was yeah. a bike guy. Are you talking about the you the, the unicycle kid? The, no, the dude who rode a bike everywhere. Um <laughs> No, 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 no. All right, welcome to a college campus where there's a ton no, no, of no, athletic no, like, students. <laughs> at Grace's campus, he rode a bike from, like, the OCC to Alpha. Like, he rode a bike 100% of the time everywhere. He was a little socially awkward. I don't know. I think. Oh, you're thinking of, uh, oh, I know who you're talking about. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I'm like, a little socially I, uh, awkward. Uh, but... John, the, the, the other person I was talking about was not gotcha. uh, the person you Okay. About. I was on two spots. What is his name? Josh Hamlin. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, this is a different guy. Okay. This is a John something, I think. Anyways, he has a huge... I should look it up on... Anyways, he has a huge... I know exactly who you're talking about. He lived in Chicago. Yep. He lived in Epsi for a minute. Yeah. Uh, all of the OGs know who he's talking about. Yep. Yeah. He's a nice guy. He was actually in a lot of my classes, too. We we talked a bunch. Yeah. yeah a little I, off. Yep. He but rode he a bike wear like, 100% yeah, of the time. Yeah, and would wear like a helmet with elbow pads and knee pads. He was very safe. Yeah. yeah. It was interesting. So yeah, he did his thing, and he he wore. Um, I went Sorry, to. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, we did uh, drop those a little bit. I he went, wore slacks all the time. Yeah, once it's like I went. I went when I was growing up in in uh, growing up uh, in high school. One of my buddies went to this church, and it was like this King James only church where like all they did was wear. Well, I got told one time that my hair was too long; it was touching my ears, and I was probably going to hell. So it was a good time. But um, not really. It wasn't that bad. But it definitely was kind of that bad. Um, he wore those clothes. Like your Sunday best at Southern church. Southern Baptist Southern Baptist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Clean cut. Um, you know what I mean, they love mashed potatoes probably. Everyone loves mashed potatoes. So 
Yeah. Anyways. Yep. I got a text from James. Is what I wanted to tell you. Okay. He, you know how we've been ripping on cauliflower rice because of that rando who asked that question a while ago. I think rice cauliflower is fine. I don't pay extra for it though. Right. I feel like we we didn't rip on it. I just. I've yeah, I guess we didn't it. rip on it. I've bought I it once. I did. Whoever it's fine. I was anyone who sent in that uh, cauliflower rice question is weak. We we made fun of the person's character because we thought it was a rando. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The one person I didn't pay. The rando. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that James? It was James. He actually oh. sent me that question. So I don't know what nice. question, but still, James, what a weak question, dude. You can ask better questions. Yeah, that's a real J level <laughs> question J-level there, question. bud. Hey, we're not sure Jay's Jay's okay. I don't know if we, we're sure James is okay. I don't. I don't think James has ever listened to a Joe Rogan podcast ever. You know what I'm saying? I would say my minimum is five minutes worth of a Joe Rogan podcast. Five minutes worth of Joe Rogan podcast. Just a five minute chunk. Yeah, I, in, I like an in one sitting five minute. You chunk. know, it's like okay, I maybe maybe can you just listen to five minutes of Joe Rogan? That's the question. Some people can. The Elon Musk video shot him to like fame. Yeah, uh, Alex Jones was great too. He's colossally famous. Yeah, um, I just think though. most people... You see the controversy? There's so much controversy going on there. Oh, are we... So, can we get into some controversy controversy surrounding Joe Rogan's buddy? Oh, my goodness. Pause this story. Okay. You getting a phone call? Hey, Alex, you're on the podcast. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, what's going on, guys? Hey, uh, we're podcasting. What's up? <laughs> what's up, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought that was just, I thought that was just a fan. It is. Yep. No, nah, it's, it's a lifelong thing. J- Alex, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you ever listened to Joe Rogan? Have you ever listened to Joe Rogan? Who is that? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's literally what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate My that. <laughs> He's doing an Alex Jones imperson- <laughs> impersonation right now. Yeah. Alex Jones is beautiful. That's best, uh... <laughs> yeah. You crushed it, Alex. I appreciate it. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Thanks. Um, oh, what are you guys talking about today on the podcast? Podcasting? Well, okay. So here, can I tell you this, Alex? Lincoln, Lincoln thinks everyone who's listened to a podcast has, uh-huh. heard, has listened to a Joe Rogan podcast. And I don't think that's true. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do think that's true. Actually. You do you think that's true? Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Sucks to suck, Tim. Okay, you can hang up on this phone call right now. <laughs> no, no, because here's the thing. Um, so if somebody's listening to a podcast that they like, and if they're going to continue to listen to your podcast and they like it, so if they listen to it and you talk about something that maybe they haven't watched or something, they're probably going to look it up. Yeah. Um, honestly, I had never listen to one of his podcasts until I started listening to your podcast. That's what I'm talking about. So that's what happened mm-hmm. to me. The, the, um, thank you, Alex. That's beautiful. So you were a listener who had never listened to a Joe Rogan podcast ever until we started talking about it. And we did play it on the clip at that one uh, time. Yeah, okay. I knew, I knew of Joe Rogan from his Fear Factor days. Right. That was about it. Right. So yeah, that makes sense. Than everyone else. Yeah. But. That makes sense. Joe Rogan's a great, a great podcast to listen to. Mm-hmm. Alex, you're helping me, my like case so well. And I no, appreciate it. Wait, no, I mean, he's he definitely is. not. <laughs> Alex is someone who listens to podcasts who has also listened yeah. to Joe Rogan. Right. Which but is what while, I, which is before, literally he, the point I was making. No, the point you're making was that um, everyone listens to Joe Rogan and no one listens to us. That's literally what you're making. And what I want to tell you is Alex listened to us and then listened to Joe Rogan. And that's what I'm talking about right there. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Alex, you're you're a beautiful human being, bro. How are you doing? How's life? Life is so good. I had a five-hour energy like three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> are you so still working good. at Wild Men? Uh, I am. Yeah. Um, yeah, Wednesdays and Thursdays are my longest days, but that's cool because I get a three-day weekend. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so, yeah, my weekend starts right now. That's awesome. Do you, what route is your? Uh, do you are you do, are you on a route? Do you take stuff or are you in the actual wild men building? Like where are you at in this process of wild men? So all of it. Um, I work out of Fort Wayne. So okay. We have a branch in Fort Wayne. Okay. And uh, I service the like Coliseum and nice uh, Dupont area of Fort Wayne. Yep. 
Um, so yeah, all around there, uh, Monday through Thursday. That's so that's if awesome. Listening is driving in those areas Monday through Thursday and sees a Wildman truck. It's me. Make sure to honk really hard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's cool. That's in the Coliseum and where was the other spot? Dupont. Dupont area. Dupont and everything in between. Alex, uh, when I was in college, I took a tour of Wildman, and they had the four day week week there back in. Um, what was that 2013 so that's cool that they're still doing that you know seven eight years later and uh i thought their plant in warsaw was cool man they were doing like five or six different initiatives i went to their board like their their head office and they're like flow charting stuff out with like 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 uh post-it notes i don't know they're really cool people and uh, i got to see the whole process how they did all the different stuff the service that you guys do is really legit so that's sweet it really is, and they actually give a lot of lot of money to uh to just people in need throughout the year, like a lot of their annual proceeds, which is really neat. Yeah. Um, and they're yeah. actually still working with a lot of um, what Lincoln would call uh, suckers and brainwashed <laughs> young students from um, the place that he would describe as hell. They are also still bringing those people in and hiring them and uh, employing them throughout the summers. Nice. So, so oh, well. Grace College students. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. It took a minute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to figure it out too, but Truly I think you're right. Suckers, I think yeah. you are. Yeah, they are suckers, and they, it is hell. Grace College is hell. We've been talk- we've been talking about them, Alex. Above us right now is a banner for um, Al- Alpha Female Week, and I don't know if you know what that is, but uh, it's a Grace College staple, and it's now in our house. I know what that is. I am an alpha female. You are an alpha female. That's true. That is true. I I mm-hmm. self identify as an alpha. Hey, it is uh, yesterday was your national pronouns day. Today on Timmons Podcast, Tim and Tim and Lincoln Show, the Tim and Podcast Network. It is uh, whatever you want to identify as, bro, and that's cool. Yep, and it is here. I am. <laughs> here I am. Um, so, I know the Wildmans. I know the yeah, Wild. Oh, go ahead. Just, no, I just I'm clarifying my pronoun. It. Okay. So go ahead. I was gonna say I know the Wildmans have like uh, I've met a couple of them. They're very nice people. And down in Winona, and they, they have like a couple different uh, ministries that they do. They're interesting. It's really really nice nice people. Good good business. I'm glad you're there, dude. Sounds like you got out of some hell, maybe. Sounds like what? You got out of some hell, maybe. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I got out of a <laughs> job that was like working me like sixty hours a week. Yeah. And I uh, work every single Saturday. Yep. Um. And no consecutive days off. Uh, you, everybody who is listening knows all about it because Lincoln used to work there. Um, and uh, now I work <laughs> a job working 40 hours a week, same pay, and I get a three-day weekend. Yeah, that's so beautiful. That's beautiful. It's really a – it's – yeah. Um, if anybody needs a really good job, I can hook you up. Alex, can I tell you one thing that, that I want to talk about you about, about Wild Men's? And this is just from the Tim and Jones side, okay? Let's hear it. Let's hear it, man. So, as someone who's lived in Warsaw for four years you, and, and no, know the Wild you gotta You got to do it in the Tim and Jones voice. As someone who's lived in Warsaw and also uh, knows the Wild Men's, I know there's a lot of Freemasons that are part of the Wild Men establishment. What's your take on that? I was told not to talk about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's what I'm talking about. Um, we are vaguely related to that, uh, psychotic church that is supposedly or not really in your area, which I still really want to hear about. There was stuff <laughs> that was going to be talked about a long time ago that yeah. never got brought up. And like, I'm still oh. jonesing for that information. Oh, we've talked about it. I Nicole. think you just didn't listen to the, the podcast episode. Uh, I could tell you right yeah. now, Alex, uh, Can you Alex, there's a cult there. There's a cult in <laughs> my area. Yes, and um, it's uh, like two hundred people strong, right? And it's a, it's a, it's. Pr- I mean, the church is real close. The church doesn't have any windows, and uh, all of the kids have a very close to similar birth date because their only a, their pastor has strict rules on when or when not they can have sex, and it's it's based on. I'm not lying. It's based on a certain uh, time, so all the kids actually have. Um, the same birth dates, or very close to the same birth dates. There's some tax fraud going on as well. Um, I know people who've been sucked into it. I've talked to a bunch of different people. I don't want to say the name because yeah, when you say the not. name, yeah, I'm not really trying to say the name, but um, it's a real problem. And also, the cops have been notified. They've been talked to. 
And the issue is it's a church, and so freedom of religion and um, that kind of covers it. It's really messy when uh, police go after churches is, is kind of the PR view for, from, from what I've heard. And so, um, you know, the best you can do is just be friends with them and uh, just kind of spread the word. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of what's up, dude. It's not a great thing. They're, they're very – if you aren't a part of our religion, you can read on their website – uh, maybe I'll text you the website, but you can read on the website like anyone outside of their church is going to hell. It's only their church and their church only going to heaven. Uh, and that's when another kind of just, I don't know. And there's some other stuff too, dude, like people who have met with him who get sick after meeting with the pastor, uh, especially people who go against the pastor. I feel like there's some real spiritual stuff there and I'm just not trying to, 100%. yeah, I'm just not trying to like always jump on and, and try to get a whole, like, I don't know. Um, he also calls his church the Dark Throne, or his throne, and so there's just like really weird stuff going on at this church. I, I like I said, I know, I know a bunch of, I know a lot about it, and I'm just not sure when I want to. And I've had dreams about it too. That's the other crazy thing too, Alex. I've had dreams about, it. and so I'm not sure what. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, when the time comes to talk about it, I'll talk about it. When the time comes, I just I don't know if it's right now. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I'm <laughs> give glad you enough. I give you a lot. I got more information. Yeah, definitely text me that. Uh, that yeah, you can that take a look thing. at it. I'll um, text you it. Yeah, yeah. The heaven they describe is going to be pretty small. Yeah, it's going to be about 200 people, and they're all going to have the same birthday. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. If it's February 11th, I'm in. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. Yep. Yeah. Nice. My wife and I, uh, we got some ice cream the other day from Kroger, um, and it was not the ice cream that we asked for, because apparently that's how Clicklist click list works. They just oh, you got the shopping cart? They shopped it to you? Yep. Um, nice. So that was one of our titles. That, Alex, at one point, we, we went and back and looked at our titles, and one of our titles was like that experience, so I'd love to hear this. Go for it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Go for it. Um, I don't even know what she... She probably looked for and asked for Tillamook ice cream, which everybody should get. Um, but we were given their Kroger brand, I think it's called like fillers or like Kroger brand, like, like filled or something. And basically the idea is that it's chock full of whatever the title of it is. And this one was baby Ruth. Um, baby Groot, baby Ruth, baby Ruth. Okay. All right. Um, and does not sound like a good pot. That does not sound like a good ice cream. Sounds great. Yeah. We're not really big Baby Ruth fans, and it seems just like something that her dad would get anytime we send him to the store to get something, like, to go along with our dinner. He brings, like, like a gallon of grape Kool-Aid. We're like, what is this? Or, the like, impulse the buy. most obnoxious thing, and he's like, it looks yeah. good. Yeah, um, impulse anyway, buy. so that's what we were making fun of, and then we took a bite of some the other night, and it was fantastic. Oh, We just spent a week making fun of it. You know, I think, Alex, what they did is they saw that you had ice cream and they looked at what is the closest to be expired and put that in your shopping cart because no one would buy Baby Ruth. And I'm glad that you've enjoyed it, dude, because, you, yeah, that's a lot better than not enjoying it. No more chunky lemon milk. Yeah. Nope. No more chunky lemon milk. Um, that sounds gross, dude. Yeah. I, why wouldn't Babe Ruth ice cream be good? It's like chocolate and caramel and peanuts. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good, too. Good. Um, yeah, I was surprised. It was basically like a uh, an entire blizzard. Nice. nice, nice. That sounds like a big a big win, honestly. Yeah. Yep. So you don't know anything about the Freemasons at Wildman's, and and Alex, we're probably gonna have to go soon because we gotta get back to this podcast. But you don't know anything about the Freemasons at Wildman's? <sighs> There's a lot of names in there. I don't want to just close. Okay. I'm um, just saying. I'm just saying. I know there are a number of Freemasons at Wildman's, so I just want you to be aware of that. And, um, yeah, just be aware of that, bro. There, there are definitely, it's, it's funny because like in the past week I've seen, I've two people on LinkedIn have, have followed me from Wildman's and they both had Freemason symbols in their profile pictures on LinkedIn. And that's why I'm bringing this to your attention because this is a real hard hitting fact that I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know a lot about them. Actually. I've heard nothing about the, the three masons. Okay. Three masons or free. Freemasons? It's like free, F R E E, like the three masons, the number, yeah, three masons. the Abraham, <laughs> Isaac, and Jacob <laughs> Masons. Yeah, yeah. All I know is the movie, uh, the not Tenth Kingdom. What's it called with uh, what's his face? 
Beast, yeah. the vampire. Uh, anyway, yeah. National uh, Treasure. <laughs> yeah. National Treasure. Um, all I know is from that movie, but yeah, I've never heard anything in, inside the company. And then also, I don't really know much about the organization. Is it a cult? Is it a cult? It probably is. I have an old friend that's in it. I think his whole family is. I just saw some pictures of his son, who's 18, yeah. and he's like the Grand National Treasure. He has some type of weird title, and I'm like, what is this? Yep. But he's like holding up like a belt, and it looks like he just won it in like a WWE match. But yeah. it's like it looks yeah. like a really formal event, and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the Three Masons. Yep. Yep. They have different ceremonies, and in their ceremonies, they review different parts of uh, history that no one else knows about, so you know a deeper knowledge of what's going on. And those belts and symbols are different things that they wear to show their superiority on, and when they get in groups, because they have a whole theater, and they go through. They believe in a lot of ancient Sumerian and Phoenician texts, like that pre predate the Bible, supposedly. Um, there's some pretty wild texts, and they also mix it in with the Bible. And you also have to believe in a god to be a Freemason. You have to believe in a higher power. So you can't be atheist and you can't be woman. And they also do some really interesting stuff. So, um, when you, you know, I, my personal belief is it's probably the, the the head once they get to the thirty third tier, right? This is Tim and Jones. This is a Tim and Jones episode right keep, here. Keep going. Keep going. Once they get keep to going. You, once they get to the thirty third tier, they find out who the real creator is and who who the real god is and who they follow. But I could be wrong. I've not been a Freemason, so I'm not sure. I've just uh, looked into it a little bit. You gotta, you gotta get your kids out of the schools because they're teaching our kids about yeah. the Freemasons, and, and they're really sucking them in. They're the, telling them about the the Freemasons built the schools. They built the schools and they built the prisons. <laughs> get your kids out now. <laughs> gotta get them out now. We gotta get them into some non Freemasons. Guys, this okay. this <laughs> this bit has lasted for so long. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful. Oh my bit. goodness! Yeah, it's a beautiful bit. Oh my bit. goodness! Oh, I need to go. Right. Oh, Alex, well, well, thanks, Alex, for, yeah, calling thanks for calling in, man. In. This one really got away from me. Um, oh but but I'm so glad this this was a solid. Uh, a spider the size of this right now. Okay. Right now. All right. Uh, this was a really solid. Uh, probably not. We haven't been getting the most listens for a long time. Um. No, Alex, we don't care about listens. We get as many listens as we want, dude. We get, on average, like, if we're going to be honest, we're getting, like, 30 to 40 listens per episode, and, which is way more than I that ever expected. And here's what I like to tell people, and it is this. My podcast get, gets more listens than your podcast does. Yeah, that's a good point. Unless they have a podcast, which and they then, may have more podcasts. Yeah, listens. and then, and then at, okay. at that point... Uh, usually when it's someone who does not, ha in fact, have a podcast. Alex, for the longest time, let me tell you this too, Alex. The, the reason why we're podcasting is, I mean, we're, we're so thankful you guys listen. But also, one, Lincoln and I get to hang out, which is a lot of fun. Two, we get to, like, cement something in, in permanent, you know, ink that we can just listen to, whether it's video or audio, that we'll always have. And then there are memories. And so, yeah, it's, it, yeah it's, it's cool, bro. It's art. You guys are creating something. That's something. <laughs> we're doing something, and we're not sure what it is, but we're having fun doing it. And and so it's cool that other people do listen. We never expected that, but you know, it is what. The creator has created you to create. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. We are creators. I do. I definitely do think that. I've been. I've been thinking that for a while. We are creators. So, Alex, we do need to hang out, bro. At Yo, some point. And in fact, now that you have Fridays off perpetually. Uh, you need to join us for a Thursday podcast. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, come come and hang out. We need to get another mic. That's that's okay. true. Yeah, we need to get another mic, Alex. And then once we get that, we should, definitely should. But that would be a lot of fun to have you in. And, yeah. And just... Now I didn't even think about it. Now that you don't work Fridays. Yeah, then. that's a good point. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. All right, we'll talk to you later, Alex. Peace out, brother. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Lincoln, I think this is going to be a two-hour podcast, bro. We weren't thinking it was going to oh, be. Oh, no. We should jump right into the questions Dude, I have, now, I No, think. I have content. Oh, I have so much we got to do. We didn't even get to things. It was nice to talk to Alex. Shout out to Alex, our listener, guys. I'm glad you guys got to be a part of that. We went to some, some deep stuff. I'll tell you what. That pumpkin beer is hitting. Yeah, definitely. That pumpkin Hol beer is hitting, man. Holy cow. Holy cow. My leg is falling asleep, and that pumpkin beer is tickling yeah. uh, my soul. What what you didn't see is I saw a, while well, I went to go get the bottle opener, which I now have, which is over here if we need it, I, I saw a spider the size of a quarter right next to where I was putting my leg. So, Fun. Yeah, Fun. it looked like a brown recluse. Okay. Yep, I killed it. Uh, but it probably bit me three or four times already, so we'll see how that goes. Gotcha. Spider-Man. Yep. And back to the... <laughs> Or or dead. 
because of uh, COVID, probably. Um, this this the back to the craft beer uh, review here. We have Oktoberfest. I'm jumping to talk to Oktoberfest. What are you, vanilla porter? Yeah, it's okay. it's nice. It's Did like you pretty... finish your uh, hazy IPA? Yeah, <laughs> before the podcast <laughs> I started, I still uh, have half of that and have this. I need to yeah. work on both. Yeah, we Getting... have questions we gotta get to, and we have content I want to get to. Okay, can we get into that? Is that cool? Definitely. So today, uh, when I was at <laughs> the Burlington Coat Factory, yes, you went to there. I was. Did you really go there? I was somewhere near there. You did you go to the Burlington Coat Factory or no? I did not. Okay. <laughs> so I went to Ross, which is right. Oh, no. <laughs> we used to. Can I give them a little backstory? We definitely. Used to, we definitely. used to have like a Sam's Club slash Walmart that was on one side of the town, and that got t- tore down for a while. And they built a new Walmart even farther back away from there. And there was this just this empty spot that where the Sam's Club used to be. And I'm talking that was a Goshen staple from like when it came out in 1994, like probably nine 1999 easy mm-hmm. that was when it came up and then it, and then it died in probably 2019 maybe 2018 so there's mm-hmm. there's been an empty sam's club hole in our goshen area for a long time um uncle sam has not been sending us to groceries and delicious foods um but what they did send us is a as a ross dress for less and a and a, a brand new building a brand new building like in that spot yeah. ross dress for us in a uh burlington, burlington coat factory yeah Exactly what Goshen needed. I was I was thinking about that. What Goshen needs, and those are the two <laughs> things. And so I'm glad those are there, next to the Coles and the Walmart and yeah, the Target and so the Bath and Body Works. I have another confession. Yep, go for it. I wasn't at Ross. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> I was at Coles. <laughs> uh, yeah, which is it makes sense. But I, I did go to Ross. Yeah. But the story that I am telling uh, it has to do with has uh, to do with. Burlington uh, Coat being Factory. Being at Coles. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Burlington Coat Factory. So um, it's a car story. Okay. I was at Coles uh, purchasing a new pair of jeans. Okay. Um, I was not having an ins- an existential life crisis. Okay. Um, so I was buying these jeans, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. and, I, and I was walking out to my car, and there was this other car parked near my car. That was super beat up yeah. and uh, had some teenager standing uh, near it, a little bit in it, a little bit out of it. You okay. know, door okay. half shut, standing up, kind of kind of kid. And I'm walking up to my car and unlocking it and getting in it. And I hear this teenager say, dang, that's salty. And in my mind, the word salty is not a positive word. Uh, so I assume he is not talking about me. Yeah, it wasn't. So that's salty. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. And uh, and he continues to say, that's a nice car. I said, thanks, man. He was calling my car salty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a, lot as of if, rust, a lot of rust spots. As and... if to, to, to mean a good thing. Right. And then this teenager goes, vroom, vroom. And at this point, I'm in my car starting it. And so I rev it. And he kind of looks at me and kind of shrugs. And I kind of shrug back. And then I leave. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'm sorry. My car is really stock and not loud. So that, is that what sounded you really... You? Is that what he's saying to you? Yeah, he I said that to me. I think that dude doesn't know how to communicate and he's trying. This is his, this yeah, is no, his definitely. Like, 700th attempt of communicating to another car guy and he's not very good at it yet. Yeah, he was some 17-year-old hanging out with his mom at yeah. Coles. Oh, wow. Uh, in the parking lot. Yeah, okay. definitely. All right. And so like if a, if a child asks me to rev my car, I'm going to do it. Right. Um, but my car's all stock and therefore not very loud or or impressive sounding and so he can just kind of shrugged at me like oh okay cool and i'm like yeah i know (laughs) yeah okay and i left and that was my story about being at burlington co factory in the parking lot yeah yeah. definitely not ross or coles right right burlington co factory that's crazy (laughs) but my jeans cost 13 dollars. so right and they're on sale right now it's a good time to go yeah that's interesting yeah i don't teenagers are weird man Definitely. Yeah. Super weird. But we were teenagers at one point, so you just got to let them do. I don't know. For some reason, bro, I feel like you just should not have paid any attention to them. Like, looked at them, and then just kept going. It's Let them, like, question that that he said something to you in the middle of the night, like, two nights from now. He's going to be just, like, going to sleep and, like, oh, yeah, that old guy just didn't say anything and looked at me like I was nothing. <laughs> That's what you got to do, bro. <laughs> no, man. You got to... 
I want this kid to think that cars are cool. Yeah, and not, that's like, true. Okay. Think that I'm a jerk. So for the for the children, absolutely. Yep. For the children. Okay, I don't know if I want to get into the note. Or... Yeah, speaking of children uh, and sleeping on porches, I hear there's. Uh... <laughs> I hear there's something going on in your front porch. I don't know if I want to go via note or the content that I, that I want to go into. How do you want to tiptoe into this one? You I think? know. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, you're right. There was. Um, dude, you, got, Allison, you gotta. You have. Allison to, doesn't even know about this. You ha- oh, that's. that's I gotta crazy. talk to her about this tonight. You have to tell the story oh, as you have stumbled across okay. the story. It was. Yeah, definitely. Three o'clock on Thursday afternoon. Okay. And I go down from working in my office into my living room and I go out. No, I think it was like, it was probably four o'clock. I was grabbing beers. I think I was probably grabbing beers for the podcast. That's really what it was. Sorry. It took you hear that Scott at 4 PM yeah, Scott. on Thursday. Scott knows. Scott no knows work. I do work. Scott does no question. I, every, I think everyone at my work knows I do work, which is nice. Definitely. So, sure. You know what I mean? Okay. If you want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I do phone calls. I do emails. I do screen shares. I'm a busy man. Okay, so do I go, we have the same job? Because I also do phone calls and emails <laughs> and screen shares and spreadsheets. Exactly yeah. spreadsheets. Yep. So I go and grab beer and I come back and I get my mail. And in my mail is this little note here on um, a piece of paper. And, and imagine just like a, I don't know, like a legal pad, right? But then shrunk down to like. One third of the size, that's the paper. Or like in a small little book, like a book size worth of paper. I don't know. It's not a ton. It's not like, but it it's, looks like it was from like one of those It's like a pads. five by ten uh, notepad. Yeah, five by ten notepad. There we go. The correct dimensions. And so um, it's in my it's in my mail. And it's, it is a it's, slightly uncommon size paper. It is an uncommon size paper. It says, any chance, 205. And for our OG listeners, they know 205 is my street address. South 8th Street. <laughs> South 8th Street. I felt like I had to say it. Uh, you could be using some late season lawn mowing slash raking for $20. I'm throwing a watering your hanging uh, baskets for an opportunity to stay on your protected porch with the porch light on so I can rest and write on and off throughout the night. And then I'm not sure what this 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 word is. So, guys, this note, when I first read it, I did not understand what it said. I, like, had to read it multiple times to actually understand because he puts his eyes as a Z, and it's not great handwriting. And some of the, a lot of the stuff is, well, I understand a lot of the stuff because I also cannot spell. So, like, that's probably how I would have spelled it, and so I understand those words. But there, it's just a weird writing style. Like, his eyes are Zs. It's interesting. He says, I'll be around and be more... Proper daylight hours. Let me stop. So the first, the first, the first part I just read. Any chance two hundred five, I can do some late seasoning mowing and stuff. Is one paragraph, and then he's then he or she. I'm not sure who it is. Signs their name. It other. I don't know what the preferred pronouns. M L G. They don't have the decency to to tell you what their name is. Right. They put it in one paragraph, and then. A new paragraph starts. And the great thing about it is with the paragraph, it's like indented in. So like uh, they're telling me it's a new thought and I I appreciate that. I'll be around and be more I'll be around and be more proper daylight hours if that catches you at home. And the at is the at symbol. And not working during them. I have no cell phone, no car, no home, no income right now. I'm Checking out the Pentecostal church at the corner of East Jefferson and uh, next to the house across the street, 224 address number. Bye. Have a nice night. MLG. Again, sign MLG. Thank you, MLG. Thank you for your companionship. <laughs> That's the note I received. Um, and so T- today, today, literally a few hours. I'm ago. not sure when because I did not check my mail at night last night or early this morning. So it could have happened last night within a 24 span so time. MLG someone, put this note in your mailbox. MLG and then decided they wanted to add some stuff and came back and took it and wrote some more. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. They're they're so thankful for 
my porch, honestly. They're very thankful for it. No cell phone. Um, yeah, they, they love uh, see on your protected for porch with the porch light on so I can write on and off. I mean, the porch light is on. I do make it a... Um, it's part of my daily routine, nightly routine. Lock all the doors. Uh, except for one door. Yep. And <laughs> lock half the doors. Lock half the doors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure all the lights are off inside the house and then turn on the light um, in the in the front light. I mean, I've only had one of these notes, okay? Mm-hmm. I've been locked out of my house multiple times where I'm like, man, I forgot my keys inside and went around to the back and was unlocked. It was good. So, I mean, I'll take a couple of these notes before I start locking them back door. Just, like, maybe. put your keys in your pocket, man. It's not that easy, dude. Yes, it is. No, it's not that easy. It's not that yes, easy. Yes, it is. No, oh it's gosh. not that easy. I need, to put, uh, I need to put a key in the garage. That would be smart. Now that I sit on a podcast, I'm not going to put a key in the garage. I'm going to put it in my vine, in my in my vine bushes. I'm going to put it in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> So you public. have a homeless person yeah, living dude, on your I, porch. I got a new roommate. Like that's oh my pretty gosh. crazy. So um, yeah, they have no house or phone, and they're checking out the Pentecostal church on the corner of East, East Jefferson. Uh, I think you need to find MLG. Should we put a, a picture yeah, of this note on the podcast? <laughs> Low key, I kind of want to write a note back and put it on the porch. Like, hey, MLG, hey, get MLG. out. <laughs> No, the answer hey, is no. Hey, MLG, there's twenty dollars under this right now. Please leave and never come back. I would never give them twenty dollars because that would—it's like feeding a stray cat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They'll always come back for more money. You know what I'm saying? It, they know the classic sales principle, which is this: if they buy once, they'll buy again. If they buy once, they'll buy again. Two. It's all about throwing, uh, just hit, uh, hit writing as many notes as you can. It's a numbers Eventually, game. It's a numbers it's a game. Numbers it's game. a numbers game. This so, is what you used to tell me about Tinder. It's mm-hmm. a numbers it's game. It's a numbers game. Yeah. You have to Gr- match with a lot of them, Grindr. and then you go on. Grinder, Tinder, what, which is which? Okay. All right. Are you really making that joke? Are you really trying to say that? I, I can't. You've never had. You know, the I, great thing about. I the can't great thing remember. About, I don't know which is which. It's Bumble. Okay, but the great thing about uh, Lincoln is he's never used a dating app because I've he's never a had classic to. gentleman. I've never he's a classic, had to. He's a classic gentleman. I have never have because Tinder. I, never... I met uh, Tinder. Tinder yeah. was the move. Or I've never had the confidence to. No. Whichever way you want to read that, never had to, never had the confidence yep. to. Oh, I, I, dude, I have stories. So when I worked at Pollywood, uh, there was guys that worked in my office, and then they left. They, they were out. But... Um, they had some really weird Tinder. They would like match with people on Tinder and say some weird stuff. At the time, I was just like, like I didn't know. Some of the stuff was kind of racist. Some of the stuff was like a lot of stuff was sexist, mm. right? But at the time, you know, it's 2014. It's you're the new guy. The world is a different place. World is a different place, and you're in looking at them and you're like, yep. And I just kind of looked at them like, this is interesting. Like I, I, uh, it was interesting. So, anyways, it was. Uh, I was just like. You really say that? That's not a very nice thing to say to someone. You know, you realize this is real. You're talking to a real person. And mm-hmm. You're just saying, like, really, uh... Yeah. I, I imagine... It was tender, though. They was, did not? No, it, it was just, like, an They probably didn't them. realize they were talking Bro, to a real okay. person. Bro, okay. I'm following this guy on Twitter, and he used a slur that I think I'm going to start using, too. Okay. I love it. And so, he was talking about... I don't know what he's talking about. It doesn't matter. But he used the slur, porn-brained male. Porn-brained male. And I think that's probably what that was. That's what I was seeing. Mm-hmm. Some men on Tinder who were porn brained. They're full of porn. Their brain is full of porn. They're not. I thought that was a really good slur. I've never really heard that before, and I like that. And so I'm going to start using that. Definitely. But yeah. Um, Tim and I have a question for Go you. Go for it. Do you ever do anything in traffic that would make the person behind you think, dang? That's a porn brain male. Because I have. I pulled out in front of someone this week so badly <laughs> that I can only assume <laughs> that they thought I was a porn brain male. Yeah. Yeah. You ever done such a such a bad traffic move that you're like, wow, I got to turn off quick because the person in front of me and the person behind me just saw what I did. You were a I porn needed, brain male. Yeah. I need to yeah. disappear. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I just wanted to get home from work. That's that's all I'm going to that... say. I just wanted to get home from work. <laughs> you think uh, you just, yeah. 
You just pulled right in front of someone. I, don't I know. caught Sometimes... someone. Up. I just went when I couldn't see who was coming. It I don't think so I would bad. think porn brain male. I would think <laughs> other things, dude. I think like pretty uh, pretty nasty things. Truly not... awful. And they saw me. My car has no tints on the windows. They saw who I was. So. Yeah. Let them know. <laughs> oh man. Thank I don't know if I'd say porn not... brain. I, will, I don't think I'd say porn brain male. Thank you for not hitting me. The white car behind me. Oh, Thank you gosh. so much. <laughs> Sorry. I had to work that in somewhere. Yeah, put that in. I was a truly terrible traffic uh, participant the other day. <laughs> but again, I just wanted to get home from work. <laughs> that, that's that's all I wanted. You, you, you popped up with another beer and did not talk about it. Oh, this one's so good, too. <laughs> uh, it is Mountain Beach. Um, uh, bright and tart with pineapple, lime, and guava. Nice. And it's it's tasty. Yeah. I'm a fan. It's good stuff. I'll, I'll have to try it next. Uh, after I get through these two beers. Now, what do you think I should do about this note? I really do think I'm going to write a note back to them. Um, probably meet this M- MLG. MLG and see MLG. what's going on. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Don't feed the homeless. You used to. Yeah, I probably know this person. So I went through my, like, who I know. And your rolled X of homeless people. I in did, your mind. bro. I did, yes. <laughs> it's probably Ricky. Um, it's probably Ricky. <laughs> Yeah, in case he has sixty bucks worth of uh, worth sixty dollars worth of uh, nice female clothing, <laughs> women's clothing, makeup, yeah. you know, stuff like that for was, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, yeah. I mean, it sounds like a deal, dude. I, it, what's really weird, and I'll, I'll show the camera this. What's really weird is it's like two paragraphs, and we've talked about that. But the, that that just is like, does that not scream meth to you? Maybe. I'm saying he wrote something can't see it. Uh, yesterday, and you didn't get the note, and then yeah, came back. he wrote, came back and wrote some more and put it back in your mailbox. But the second thing it says, have a nice night. Yeah. So I don't think that's correct, dude. I, I think, think uh, I think he wrote it twice in one time. And he says, thank you for your companionship. He, he forgot to rip these two notes apart and stick them <laughs> in different. He wrote 25 notes, and you just yeah. happened to get... The bottom half and the top half of one page <laughs> that got folded together. Uh, it's a numbers game. He wrote a hundred of these in one night, yeah. and he just happened to get two. It's funny how you use my name as two hundred five because I knew he was talking about me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was in my mailbox. He knows me as two hundred five. Yeah. It's like Squid Games. They all in Squid Games they name everyone by their number. Fun. Yeah. So I feel like <laughs> fun. <laughs> Next topic. Can I? Can, I, still I feel have like the move the is. We should get into the questions. Go I feel ahead, like the go. move is. Not make an enemy because yeah, one hundred percent. No, two hundred five. No. Yep. Your address, your porch. Right on each. Uh, yep. Connect him with some uh, resources. I have a good feeling I probably know who this guy is, and it's not going to be a surprise. Gotcha. No, I'll just talk to him. I'll probably talk to him, see what's up, and tell him no, he cannot stay on my porch. But if he's chill, he can come up and write on it. But this is not his house now. You gotta make sure that they know this is not your house. You know what I mean? Like once you tell them that's their house, then they think it's they have a. They won it. It's theirs. And then I'll never be able to leave my house. So, you know what I mean? And we'll have to start locking my doors. So yeah. I'm not looking for that. Yeah. Your wife won't be able to leave for work in the morning. Yeah. That's pretty freaking weird. Yeah. Yeah. No, can't have that. Yeah. I probably should get up in the morning and just make sure that there's no one sleeping outside. It is a nice little spot to sleep. I would, I would probably. Sleep. You put a chair there. I did. It's what do you do with cute. a chair? You sit in it. We, I mean, we yeah. do too. That's the other thing. I mean, you can sit and write, but. Um, I mean, it's a little weird. It yeah. sounds for me. It was two different thoughts, and I think they're probably on some substance. They're sitting there writing. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad they thought of me, and we're kind enough to write a note. Um, I know that my neighbors sell substances. There's, there's no doubt in my mind that they're not selling meth. So I, I just feel like it was pro- probably related somehow. You know, what I mean, I'm sure it's, mm. I'm sure it's related, but um, yeah, I don't know. You gotta be nice to them. Don't make enemies, but also like, hey. That's well, not good. yeah, you can you can. I have to uh, start getting up with my. With you my can wife. solve problems without making enemies. Yeah, hundred percent. It's. I think it's a really positive thing. It's make. good content. Let me tell you that. It's great podcast content. Yep. Speaking of great podcast content, Tim, yep. those questions. We can get to those questions. Tell us those Let's questions. Yeah, we got a bunch of different questions. I had some stuff I want to do, but you know what? We're gonna do because we got the phone call from Alex. Because we had the note, we're gonna push this to next week, which also deals with meth. Okay. Okay. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful story. We'll get on next week. Um, it'll be a great time. You guys are gonna love it. Let's get to the questions. So eventually, I won't be able to say words. Are you? Are you at that point? I are mean, you pretty close. We're, we're getting there. I'm. I'm not gonna slow down the drinking though. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know, Tim. And this is on you to 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 land the plane. I think. Oh, for real? 
Come on, brother. All right, hold up. I got to pull up these questions, though. <laughs> he pulls up another beer. You got to tell him what the next beer is. For some reason... Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, the questions were kind of being weird on me. Okay, here we go. Here so we go. I'm sorry about that. Avalanche Amber Ale. Yep. Caramel malt body with a light hop character. There we go. Uh, we'll see. Have you not had this one? Or is this the one that we had our neighbor? Oh, Lincoln got to see the video of the drive-by shooting. Yeah, definitely. It was. It looked like a drive-by shooting. Yeah, it looked like a drive-by shooting. Crazy. We talked to our neighbors. I went out and talked to our neighbors. Sorry, guys. The questions were being weird, but we're good now. Um, we went and talked to our neighbors, and he showed us a couple different videos from his, his, his video. It's kind of cool, but I think that's what he gave our neighbor. Any good? It's fine. It's fine. Ah, the, you should give them something. The better. other ones were good. Yeah. Uh, this one, it doesn't taste bad. Yeah. But yeah, we were hanging out talking. I said, "Hey, man, you want one of these?" Mm-hmm. He's like, "All right, yeah." I mean, Lincoln was holding a pack of beer in his hands, so like, I got the nice thing. Honestly, to do was I got awesome. fifteen beers. You can have one. Right. It not was, a big it was deal. dope. Yeah. That's probably not the most you've talked to him, or was that the most you've talked to him? We've talked a handful of times, yeah, but he and I cool. are both like introvert car dudes. I think. I mean, you're and just so, assuming, but I don't know. I mean, that's that's my judgment based on the interactions I've had <laughs> with him. You're so judgmental. <laughs> no, like that's, that's just all good. no. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. Does that guy not strike you as kind of an introvert? It's not the a thing little I bit, thought. a little that's bit. That's not the thing I thought. But we think different things, man. So it's okay. Yeah. So previously we had not talked that much. I don't know, but we talked as if neighbors would talk. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it's because we're neighbors. I got, I went over and I talked to him a bunch. Like there was established common ground. Yeah, we're, we're homies. Commenting on. Yeah, we're homies. Given the proximity of where I used to. No. Uh, camera's too hot. Okay. Friends, we're gonna pause this to put the camera in the freezer. Yep, we are gonna pause this to put the, the camera in the freezer. We'll be back soon, though. All right. All right. We're back. Uh, we yeah. never left. We did leave. I went and uh, peed. Yep. And uh, Lincoln drank two beers in the middle of that. I did. I did. Did you really though? No, you didn't. Multiple beers. I've had 17 beers since we last talked. (laughs) (laughs) You're so lit. It's so it's so beautiful. I'm still working on the on the on the hazy IPA that I had from the start. Should probably drink that. These other beers are so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll have to get to them. I'm trying to drink them fast. Why? So that you can't drink that. That's so. That's bad for you. You're I've drank yourself. I drank point. two of these three Mountain Beach beers. They're so good. Okay, you can drink all three, man. It's okay. Hmm. You need one. <laughs> can I you might have, no. You might. You can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you might have wanted two, but you'll get one. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's, really, that's real chill. This was a solid sampler pack. Yeah, that's a good solid. Yeah, uh, Breckenridge Brewery. It's a cool little brewery as well. Uh, when you're I, I channeled my inner Tim and thought, mm-hmm. I'll get a sampler pack of beers. Yep. That's a good call. Yep. That's a good call. Definitely. I love a sampler pack because you can t- taste all of everything. So we should get to questions. They've heard enough of us. Let's get to questions. Let's hear from you guys. Uh, not a question. So this is from Not a Question. All right. Hello, Not a Question. You should definitely deep dive into Gwen Shamblin and her cult. She died this May, so it should be interesting to see how the church moves forward. It's wild that we were literally just talking about the cold in Goshen. Uh, not a question. That's a great question. Um, we will take a look at that maybe next week. Maybe on our, our Tuesday episode. What do you think about that? Just maybe revisit this. See what see what. Sounds good. Gwen Shamblin is. We're already an hour deep. Right? Sounds good. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to get into it right now? We will that absolutely they, do that not on a question. Tuesday. You asked us that, so I think we, we, we have the right... To tell you we're going to do it on Tuesday. Yeah, definitely. We're definitely doing it on Tuesday. There's not no, today. It's not going to happen today. It's going to happen Tuesday. But let me tell you, it's definitely not going to happen on Tuesday. It's definitely going to happen on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Next. <laughs> next question. From Spicy. All right. <laughs> Check out ChristianLoveToys.com. So I you imagine. can experience... Pegging in a God honoring way. I'm I imagine this is. Uh, there are several of these two people uh, uh, Christian around. family sex toy right. uh, friendly websites gotcha. where you can purchase the things you want without uh, the pornography. Oh, okay. is that what this is? Okay, yeah. It's the Christian Aww. couple safe 
sex toy store. Yeah. Um, I only know this Massage because... oils. Hold up. Bath, shower, clearance, condoms, essentials, games... So what type of games? Loops, massage oils, sex toys, vibrators, good vibes only, women intimates. Nice. So sex scratch tickets. Okay, go ahead. No, like the the bad Christian guys. Yeah, they they, they also run about. run their own like Christian friendly sex toy store. That makes sense. So there's is, not porn on this. Which thing. is nearly the funniest sentence I think I've said all year. Um, bad Christian. Yeah. Yeah. The. Uh, yeah. Christian sex toy It'd be nice store. if they had, like, biblical stuff, like, biblical mm-hmm. games you could play. Oh, would it? <laughs> I have no clue. Would, would it be nice to men? I don't, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Hot and spicy party <laughs> dice. It's funny how the person asked us to review a murder and cult, and we said no. We went straight to the sex toys. <laughs> All right. Next question. <laughs> uh, get, let's, keep, let's keep... What was 50 the question Nights here? of Naughtiness, couples edition. 50 Nights of Naughtiness. That doesn't even make sense. It's a lot of nights. It's a lot of naughty. It's... It's How's this Christian love toys and it's the nice and naughtiness? Like, what the heck is going on? We should uh, move on. A little loving adult uh, card game. No, this is it's like Uno, but it's it's also they literally it looks like we, Uno. We played Uno. In the we played Uno in this the past week. seven days. We played Uno. Yeah. Four play in a row game. Four play in a row looks like Connect Four. That's kinky. Okay, kinky card game. Kinky Knights dice game. Interesting. Interesting. None of these games look like what games I'd want to play. <laughs> they all look awful. Truth or Dare, and it's this dude spanking this woman. Interesting. No, it's a woman spanking the dude. All right, next question. Thank you so much, uh, Spicy. Um, for everyone who wants to check out ChristianLoveToys.com, be our guest. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Lizza with a Z, not Lisa with an S. Lizza. Okay. Or Lisa with a Z. I don't know how they want it. It's hard. It's text. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to understand what they're trying to say. What's up, Lisa? <clears throat> I am feeling better because of my meds. Oh, I am feeling better because of just the meds, or am I because I've worked on myself? Should I get off my antidepressants? What? Lisa, am I feeling better be- because of just the meds, or am I better because I work on myself? Should I get off my antidepressants? Mm, that's an interesting question. <laughs> Okay, Lizza. Lisa. Um, Lizza. You think it's L I Z A? <clears throat> Typically, uh, Lizza. The the meds, uh, they they work best when in conjunction with other treatment, and so if you have been doing the things and taking the meds and you feel better, um, consult with your doctor and like. Create a real plan of like stepping no, down no, from these no, meds no. if that's the direction you want to go. Now, Lizza, don't don't listen to that. Like necessarily cut like like stepping away from your meds cold turkey would maybe not be the best thing. Cold uh, turkey? Heck no! Don't do cold turkey. It was but warm like tor- turkey. the the person who prescribed these meds can probably provide you with a plan and also like working with your therapist too because they work best with therapy. Um, Lizza, this is my this. That, do you, are you done? Uh, yeah, just say? like stair step away from these with a plan with your team. Stair, stair step away from me. Yeah. I think um, this is my advice. And um, as you've heard, Lizza, in this podcast, since you've been listening, a couple things. One, I believe that Freemasons are a real cult. And two, there are cults in my area. And three, I'm a little crazy, right? Because I have dreams about different things and stuff. So my advice is not something you should take to the bank. When I, when I tweet anything, when I say anything, right? But also, just listen to it real quick. I found, or from what I gather, some meds, and there there is a reason why we have antidepressant meds. Can, can I ask you a question? No, let me finish my rant, and then you can ask me a question. Okay. I, I, That's fine. Yep. Yeah. And, then, and then you can ask me a question. Okay. I found that some meds, there's a real reason why we need them, and the reason why we need them is because you're at a level 10, and you'd be brought down to a level like eight or seven or, you know, when you're suicidal and there's, there's a real need for that to stay on something synthetic for a long time. I don't think this is great for your body. Now it may be something that balances your hormones and there's a reason why there's an imbalance, but you can naturally figure out what that imbalance is and you can work towards rebalancing those things. So do you, should you get off your antidepressant meds? I don't know if, if right now is the right time to, but I think in the long term you should get off medication anything that 
you have to take this to like stabilize you. If it's really necessary, then definitely take it. But if it's not necessary, if you feel like it's something you can come off of, and you got to be really careful about that. But if it's, if it's something you can come off of, then I would say, you know, exercise, eat healthy, think healthy thoughts, be a part of a community, do things that actually level stuff out because meds are not the answer for the long term. I don't think you can say that meds are the answer for the long term. They're very helpful. There's needs for them. But any man-made drug that you're going to be on for a long time, this is just my personal feelings, that we can't be dependent on man-made drugs. we got to be dependent on, on, on working on yourself and improving yourself. Exercising raises your, your serotonin levels. It raises your dopamine. There's a lot of good things to doing good things for yourself. And if you eat healthy and you can balance your hormones by eating in natural diets, be, be very healthy, eating lots of vegetables. There's a lot of nutrients out there that our bodies do not have. And so if you like make sure that you're focused on just putting good stuff into you and doing good things to your body and you feel good and you feel like you can go off these antidepressant meds, um, you know, like and say consult with your doctor, but also like be aware of what your body is telling you. And go forward for what you think you're, you should be doing. So I'm not going to tell you to not to or to do it. But I do believe that we shouldn't be on man-made drugs. Like any prescription. I know that it's helpful. But also we're finding that it's very harmful in a lot of things too. You know, after 30 or 40 years of someone being on something, it, it affects you. So what, what was the question you are going to ask me? Uh, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing. The, I mean, some people need medication. I think forever, that, like the type one diabetic, like they're like. Is that genetic diabetics, or is that something that they put themselves into? Genetic. Genetic. Okay. Like there are some cases where like medication is gonna be your life. And they're stuff. gonna know that their diet has to change stuff. Change Talking about type one, not type two. Um, I don't know the difference. I know type one is genetic. Type two is is, is something that you eat yourself into. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't like, know. There are some cases where like medication. But what is, happened prior to medication? Did all type one diabetics yeah, die? Yeah, they died. Every single one of them. All of them died. Just like every single person that listens to our podcast has never listened to Joe Rogan. <laughs> that's, that's not a real comparison. <laughs> that is a um, real comparison. Are you sure that they all died? Like, people didn't have type 1 diabetes and also figure out how to, like, do stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I think so. they all died. Okay. I think all of them died. Right. Um, I'm going to fall back on my previous. Uh, consult with the team that you've been working with uh, to procure the meds. If you don't have a support system, work on that also uh, pre like before you go off your meds. Like, well, make sure you have your, your friends and family, like, your real support system. Uh but yeah, I, I, Tim said it also, like, you can, this is a situation that you can, I think, solve in the long term without meds. Yeah. Uh, psychotropic meds uh, are known to not work long term. Yeah. It takes you from um, a, it takes you from a high level to a low level for a while, but it's not I think, the I, don't, I think I disagree. Thing. You said exercise and eat healthy. And my response to that is what if you can't? I think psychotropic drugs solve that problem. I think they solve the what if you can't get out and go for a walk and purchase like a week's worth of like healthy groceries. I think I think that's the the situation that the drug should be used in. And I think once you get past that, uh, you need to do, you need to do the other things that also uh, fix or soothe the the problems that are there too. I think the meds are used for. What if you can't exercise? I think that's where the meds come. That's a very small percentage of people. I don't think so. I think that's most people. Like can't exercise. Yeah. Can't go for a walk. Like can't. Really think so? Yeah. Man, that's two different ways. Would you say that you've experienced depression on a clinical level? Um. No, I don't think so. Okay. Which is fine. Like that's. But what, I'm glad I experienced depression. Yeah, I think everyone experiences low points and stuff. But to the point of, like, I can't, like, go for a walk. I don't think in you. I think people will get to that point, but you can still always go for a walk. I don't know. What if can you, you can't? Your, can you yeah, tell your you can't? foot to go forward and your other foot but, to go forward but what and if your you other can't foot to go forward? Get yourself to go I've forward. never been in a position to be at that point, and I don't know. I can't. But what if you couldn't? I can't like, connect with that. 
But what if you what work. if you couldn't go for a walk? What if you <laughs> could not make yourself do that? Because I think there are people who experience that, and I think that's what depression is. You what think if you Liz can't? Is? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not Liz. I'm not Liz's doctor or yeah. in in Liz's support system. But like, like, what if you can't? That's stupid. Is it getting hot? Yeah, I don't know why. It just turned off on me. Okay, pause. Okay, we're back. Yeah. I think we should move on. No, I and, and keep no, going. I, I don't think I. I don't know. We can move on. I just don't. I think. I think I think differently than you on this on this subject, and I think that's okay. I, but I just don't see. I don't see you. I. But I, like, what? What if you could see it? What if you couldn't? But no, what if you couldn't? So. I don't think so. I don't think you're making a great point, bro. I think I'm making the point of every depressed person because I think I've experienced that. I you think I've experienced the phenomenon. You were able to walk. You were like, able to walk. But I didn't want to. There were yeah, there were, we're days that I didn't that. leave my bed. You just told me where that I could not get up and get you out. Could, it was difficult, and you chose and you chose not to. And there's nothing wrong with choosing that. You couldn't get out of the bed. Yes, but I think there are people you who did ex- get out of bed, bro. I did because I had to. But like, what if you couldn't? Yeah, what if you sure. couldn't do that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you. I don't think there. <laughs> I think there are certain people, but I think it's a very French. I don't think that's a, a high. That's not the question that this person was asking. I think that's what the disease is. And so don't go back to that place. Work with your team. Yeah. And I think the long term, I think you're right, Tim. I think the long term is building back not a, meds. Building back better. <laughs> Thank, let's go, Brandon. Let's, let's go. Let's go, Brandon. I really, yeah, I, I do think that, but it's got to be a very, it's got to be a very, it's, it's, it, it's got to be delicate and you got to be listening. You know what I mean? If you go to a place where you're not, it's dark and that thing brought you out of darkness. But I don't think you should be so. That should be your support. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it it depends on how sick you are. Yeah, it depends on how sick you are. But for Liza, I'm not sure. But I think is if you if you continue to improve yourself, that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's a good thing. Uh, Lincoln's favorite aunt. That was a really rough question. Let's get into. Um, Thanks, Suzanne. Suzanne. Thanks. Lincoln, I'm worried about you. Uh, Suzanne, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about Lincoln as well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he says, "Are you actually living out of your car?" <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I'm glad she knows that she is your favorite aunt. So shout out to Suzanne. Suzanne. Yep. Yep. I really live in my car. I am truly homeless, and it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell his mom. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. real, do not yeah, tell don't his do mom. That. Please uh, do not tell his mom. Yeah. Uh, but for real, I'm not homeless. Right. Uh, but actually, I'm super homeless. So, yeah. yes. If yes, you, I'm homeless. If you need a spot to stay, I have a great porch. Don't. <laughs> well, I leave for one night and someone else decides yeah, they it. can sleep there. MLG. Yeah, yeah MLG. Uh, Zeus asks, what's your favorite non-alcoholic drink to enjoy in the fall? Ooh, good question, Zeus. Um, Typically, we, uh, we, tar- we, we participate in sober January, so yeah. yep. not drinking isn't part of the equation yeah, in fall. If you took out beers, what would be your favorite drink of like fall drink that's not beer? Okay, water, coffee, coffee. I don't know. I like some cider, like some just apple cider. Okay. I always buy one. Um, if no, if like eggnog falls in the fall, it's more of a winter drink. But I'll drink some eggnog too. I love pancake batter. Do you like pancake batter? Yep. Not really ever had that. Yeah, but. that's what eggnog <laughs> is to me. Can pancake batter? You have a lot of opinions on this podcast, bro. That's cool. You Sorry, that's that. that's the idea. <laughs> that's that's literally why we're doing this yeah, for my opinions and also yours. <laughs> That's, I think that's um, the whole point. No, you. It's it, it's. Uh, I think um, pumpkin spice latte, right? I like a, a good pumpkin spice latte as well. Like those are some coffee in the fall too because it's getting cold. Like I I dig that too. I'd rock a hot chocolate maybe sometimes as well. Like you know what I mean hot chocolate's a little bit more winter drink, but like if if I'm gonna drink an eggnog, I'll also drink a hot chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good question. You you are gonna stick with your coffee and water. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> I can't remember the last time I bought a apple cider or a hot chocolate. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. the cool, the cool evening, like when it's a cool morning and it's crisp outside, you drink something hot. There is something beautiful to that. That that is nice. Yeah, I do switch. I do switch coffee. when it gets cold, cold from 
uh, iced coffee to hot coffee that's when it's Zeus, cold. That's what Zeus is asking. But that's like January. Yeah. It's, You're it's still like, doing iced coffee right now? Yeah. Wow. I put ice in my coffee this morning. <laughs> Bold. <laughs> I wore a hoodie and I was sweating because my coffee didn't get cold enough. Yeah. It was awful. <laughs> Someone didn't refill the ice cube trays in my freezer. No. It was me. Do you, uh, do you need more, multiple ice cube trays? No, I already have them. Okay. I was going to buy you some because you bought some for the house. No, it's fine. Yeah. yeah that was a great solution to uh, a problem that was there. And you, you're a problem solver, Lincoln. That's the beautiful thing. Dr. Fauci asks, what vaccine are you getting? I know what. Can I tell him? I know what I'm going to get. None. Johnson and Johnson. Just because of the name and the name only. How about you? Oh, uh, I'll probably not get vaccinated. Yeah. Um, just just being real. Uh, the vaccine. It seems like doesn't pre- pre- prevent it from spreading. That's what um, it seems like. Johnson Johnson definitely does not. It's at thirteen percent after six months. It's only uh, effective for thirteen percent of the people. So, so I really care about not getting my loved ones sick. Like, yeah. I legitimately don't want yeah. to get my grandfather or grandmother sick with COVID. Um, so, the vaccines seem to not touch that aspect of it, and uh, I care a lot less about me dying versus my grandparents. So, I don't know. Once there's a vaccine to help me not spread it. I'll probably take that, hmm. but I don't care about. Dur- but during the sixty percent, yeah, I definitely for went, six months it could go. I away. definitely drove at at least one hundred and thirty miles an hour in my car the other last weekend. So I clearly don't care about me surviving. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly don't like that's Just like wanna die. it's never it's it has never been a question of it's like never whether Lincoln about cares about. Right. It's about like the grandma living to sixty, yeah. but like my grandfather or grandmother, like have made it. They're already. actually good people, and yeah. like. Could have an impactful existence on other people's lives, yep, yep. and I clearly haven't. So, yeah, definitely stop that. Zero Get that out of here forever. You've had imp- <laughs> you've had a good impact on people. That's not the question, but you have been, you have had a good impact on people's lives, bro. Don't don't say that. Sure, don't say that. But not like grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's also lived to ninety. Like once you get to ninety, you're gonna be able to see all the people that you've impacted in the good. Yeah, four. <laughs> more, no. more impact than this podcast. Let me tell you that. Uh, Jay asks us. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, I think I, I'm, I'm not gonna get vaccinated. At least not right now. Until I know a little bit better. I just don't think they're effective. They are in some parts, but the f- fact that they've asked you to. And who knows? This is all fake news. I don't trust journals either. And I also believe that there's cults all around me. And I pray all the time to God. So I'm crazy. I'm, I'm crazy. So don't listen to me, but I'm not getting vaccinated. And if I am, I'm getting the Johnson Johnson because I like that name. And it really resonates with me. I'm the type of guy who buys a book because of the cover. And Johnson Johnson just is too good of a cover for me. You know, So I, I like it. And it just rolls off the tongue. Moderna and Pfizer, those are just like... Foreign words, Johnson and Johnson. I feel like I've been saying that since middle school. So, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> marketing for a long time. Jay asks, "Are all are electric cars going to become the mainstream or just a pipe dream?" <clears throat> mainstream, one hundred percent. I think so. Teslas out there. I see more Teslas now than I've ever seen before, and I think that's just going to increase. In the year twenty twenty. The electric Porsche car outsold Tesla. Did you know that? I did not know that. Tesla was outsold in 2020 by, by Porsche. The, the Taycan, the electric Porsche, sold more than Tesla did. So both Porsche and Tesla are selling electric cars right now, is what you're saying? No, electric's That's definitely the thing. future. Let's go. Electric's the future. Let's go, uh, Brandon. At least uh, to a point, I think... Uh, not on all levels. I think trucks like semis will always be some sort of diesel uh, internal combustion engine. But uh, if you can get a hundred miles of range on a car, like that's that's enough for most people per day. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, uh, I think electric cars will will play a role in the future. Yeah, that's a 
I think they are. Uh, I think Jay's asking us: Are our electric cars going to be fat or future? And the answer is the future. Both a little bit of a fat, and then uh, the future. A for little the bit of the them. future too. Yeah. Yeah, the future is really complicated. I think, um, and so I think full full bore electric, probably not the future, like due to like conflict minerals and like, like weird stuff like that. But mm. like a highly refined version of like a hybrid, like three cylinder. Uh, variable cam camshaft timing engine, and also like a Prius style electric like like motor. I think stuff like that will be super. Common. Everything you just said to me like, was Chinese. Highly sophisticated Camden shaft motor. Like I'm not sure what those are, but a variable Camden shaft motor. So there's a Swedish. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. We, there's you know, a stop. Swedish we have to get the future, car company but... called no, Cody's we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna do it. An engine with a variable camshaft, which changes like. The, the the type of fuel your car can run, how many yeah. cylinders, like like a very configurable one second, gas One second, one second. Can I say one thing, sure. and then I'll let go you keep it. going, because I love what you're saying. We let Alex talk for 30 minutes, so go for it. Okay, I'm done. It's fine. <laughs> no, that's not the... It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I just think, like, the future is way more complicated and way... Tell more. me what a Camden shaft is. I didn't... Uh, there's a, a company a in Germany no, who does what? S- Sweden. There's a company um, in Sweden. So a, uh, <laughs> a, a a basic gas engine will have two halves that okay. are t- that are timed together. Okay. A top half and a bottom half. Okay. It's referred to the head and the block. Okay. And okay. there's usually a belt. I've heard of those. Yeah. And it, is it a timing belt? A timing a timing okay. chain or a timing belt. Okay. And so the Swedish company Koenigsegg, uh, they built supercars. Okay. They built a variable. Uh, timing can shaft head where instead of a belt there are sensors and pneumatic cams that instead of having that belt time them together they use a computer to open and close things because that's what the belt oh, would do the, so belt, the belt would open, open and close things and so instead of having a belt or a chain they use a computer and that makes it way more efficient and it makes it a lot more efficient because also, you can time it based on Instead the, of when a belt is doing it, which is just like a motor. So thing. a belt would okay. open and close things in varying It's degrees. innovative. It's innovative. And so okay. pneumatic valves can open and shut instantly instead of being being rotated open and shut. Right. Based and on a belt. Be, and because of all this, you can change the, the type of fuel you use. You can use diesel, and it'll have like a diesel setting because that's kind of the big difference is is how that timing works with a diesel engine versus okay. a gas engine. Then and different. also, like, protein okay. and alcohol, like, you can change all of this. Have a very configurable internal combustion engine. Okay. And so it's, it's like, it's super far out there, but, like, if you can control this one aspect of engines, you can change how they function. And so you think that's the future? I think a, highly, a hybrid. A highly refined Electric... Version. Compo- uh, combustible and in- engine. Jeez, yeah. I can't say words. I know it's a lot. I think I think cars in the future will have lots of complicated systems. Okay. Uh, instead of relying on one engine, right. one battery, right. one. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think I think things are moving from simple to very complex and right. complicated. And right. I think cars will follow that trend. That makes sense. More efficient. So I think I think the better. electric thing is like kind of a magic trick for yeah. now. I think it's is it, innovative. I think tool? it's pushed the it's pushed the bounds. A Electric bit. cars are older than gas cars. Yeah, it just it it just didn't take for like a lot of reasons. It's it's borderline Tim and Jones territory. Why electric cars weren't a big deal? Oh, let's ago. go. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think highly refined versions of what we already have Tim are and the Jones future territory. I love how like that's this a, new thing that doesn't really exist. Yeah, I love how Tim and Jones is an adjective. Sorry, I cut you no, off. No, it's but. fine. It's fine. Okay, next question. That's the end. That's the end of the questions. Good lord, we're finally done. Thank <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> we gotta do fatter future. We do. All right, let's let's roll fatter future, um, guys. Thanks for your questions, and let's get to it. Timmin and Lincoln, this week we're talking about the Lord's Chicken, Chick-fil-A. Is it a fad or is it the future? It seems like no matter whether a Chick-fil-A location is old or new, it's always jam-packed with people no matter what time of the day you go. Is it because the chicken is really that good? Is it because their customer service seems to be above average? 
or the fact that they distract you with the amount of chickens they kill by having their mascots be cows. The chicken is absolutely delicious, but do you think that Chick-fil-A is going to stay on top and be the king of fast food restaurants? Go for it. All right. What a wonderful fact for you, sir. Is Chick-fil-A the king of... Is the Lord's chicken the king of fast food? Mm -hmm. Jesus is king, as Kanye once said. Mm -hmm. The chicken is fire. What do you think? What do you think about it? I think it's... uh, I have my reasons, but I want to hear you first. Uh, Can you make your case? Go ahead and make your case. All right. Will you tear it down? Maybe a little bit. We'll see what happens. I have one sentence that will decimate everything you believe in. (laughs) Go for it, Tim. Um, I I want to hear your opinion. For Chick-fil-A, the reason why they're so popular is one, I mean, they are like KFC in a way, right? Um, But I think they do a really good job of... Um, customer service. I think that's why they crush it. And two, they are uh, they use the Lord's name in vain very well. They're very good at making sure you know that you are holier than everyone else when you buy their chicken. And it, and that's a drug. It's hard to chase. You know, like when you eat Taco Bell, you know you're descending into the pits of hell. It's a great time, but you always feel dirty when you're done. But with KFC or not KFC with 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 um, uh, Chick Fil A, they figured out how to brand themselves as the holy chicken. And so no other fast food that I've seen is on that level. So I think I think they are the fad. I think they are the future. I think they're not, I'm not a fad. I think they are the future. Um, I think they're going to dominate that until things slip maybe, but I don't really see it slipping right now until they they change ownership maybe um, or, or become more corporate, kind of like McDonald's. But... I think they're doing a great job with one, their customer service, and two, really branding themselves as um, a good, wholesome meal. You know, they've taken the higher road and they've done a good job of just tying themselves to Jesus. I've seen people like not buy their stuff because it's they quote unquote Jesus chicken, and so when people hate it because it's Jesus Jesus chicken, it just tells me that their marketing is on point. <laughs> Tell me so. <clears throat> You got really close to the point I wanted to make. Okay, okay. And here's that point. What Chick-fil-A is now is what KFC used to be. Mm. Because Chick-fil-A and KFC, their chicken tastes the same. It's the same product. Mm. You can fight me on it. I'll win. Um, But... (laughs) It's the same product. Yeah. Uh, and it's one just of the, branded different. And one of those organizations has decided that for one-seventh of the week, they're not going to make any sales. Yeah, interesting. And so I think uh, I think KFC is a has-been. Like, it's definitely fading, and I think Chick-fil-A will fade in a similar fashion. Yeah, but the next thing has to come kick it out. out there will there'll be a different fast food Thing that, that finds the niche. That KFC is hitting now. KFC will, or I'm sorry, Chick Fil A will not hit forever. Right. It, so. uh, yeah, it, I think. I think, I think it's right. good food, but I think it's overpriced, and I think it's it's under delivered. I really? think. Uh, I've always had a good experience when I go to KFC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Chick Fil A. But but the but the teenagers care at Chick Fil A versus they don't care at McDonald's. Right. And so it's just the service. It's not the product. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like it's amazing chicken. It's not like, oh, this is the best chicken ever. It's very it's just ordinary like, fast food. You know you're going to have a, not an awful time when you go there. You're paying for like the inconvenience of the fast food experience. Because the fast food experience has only gone downhill. and It just continues to go downhill. And you you know it. You're not going to get the food you want. It's not going to be hot. And it's it's well, going to be. You're going to get two of three. You're going to get your order. It's going to be warm or it's going to be correct. Right. Like right. you're in it two of three, and right. that's and that's the like food is expensive. Yeah, and that's yeah. and that's the cost of fast food is yeah. is it meets two thirds of your expectations. Yeah, the amount of times I've gone to Taco Bell and missed part of my order, like it's very high. Mm-hmm. But Taco Bell is the only fast food I'll go to. I guess Jimmy John's. I'll go to Jimmy John's, but anything else, Burger King, McDonald's. I've not visited those places in a long time because it's just like I've had so many bad experiences there that I won't go to those places. Yeah. But I think I think Chick Fil A is is fading a hundred percent a fad. You don't think it's the future? I think it's the future for a while, and then it'll become a fad. 
I don't know. I think they solidified. I don't know the future of, of fast food food is. Right. Like it's only getting bigger. That's a weird. Uh, oh, dude. Okay, so can I tell you this story real quick? It's it's a weird platform. The fast food platform. It's very strange. Yeah, fast food. Yeah, that's interesting. Because because food ingredients are expensive. I won't tell you the story. And also, I want to hear the story. Yeah. And also, like paying people is expensive. Like the restaurant business is is aggressively difficult to be successful in. Right. And somehow, like there are tons of organizations that figure out how to like synthesize something to taste like food and also like underpay people to over deliver something. I don't know. The fast food thing is very strange. Yeah. What what's your story? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to digest your thought real quick. That's that is interesting. Yeah, because food like is... the McDonald's phenomenon is it's a little like crazy. Yeah. That someone can give you something that that hits I talk about this a lot when we're hanging out like Doritos cost yeah. 3 bucks a bag. Right. But they're a 10 out of 10 right. as far as, like, taste and experience. Like, like the era of food that we're living in is, is really peculiar because you can taste something that tastes like a 10, but on, a like, a 1 to 10 scale of nutrients, it's like a zero. Right. And so, like, like probably... In the if past, you, if you wanted to get that level of taste, wanted, it would have been very nutritious it would be and delicious. A, you have to hunt the animal, kill it, preserve it, roast it. And then you get a 10. It, it was a lot more work to get right. a 10 taste. Right. But now you can work for 15 minutes and, and, and earn $3 and buy some Oreos, which are a 10 out of 10. Hmm. Like engineered to be a 10 out of 10. Hmm. Like the food industry right now is is it's wild. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a little crazy. But that is interesting. It's crazy how some stuff is so good. It's so but it's addictive. only good for a little time. Like I'm, you can only eat so many Oreos and, and Doritos before you get sick. You know? Maybe. I don't know if you're if you're fighting and farming like Oreos and Doritos like that's a lot of calories that's a lot of energy like that's yeah that's true too yeah it's things are weird like things are very upside down I think with, with in the food, food and yeah. stuff yeah you've been invaded so far definitely mm. uh, the story I was going to tell you if that's cool yeah um, go for there it. was this lady who was complaining about all the Mexican restaurants in Goshen on this like. Goshen Facebook forum. I had some tacos this week. They were so good. <laughs> oh yeah, and tamales. I had tamales this week. It was fire. Um, that's yours. <laughs> that's that's the, the, the last. Um, the you can drink it, dude. It's all good. Uh, and so she was complaining how many Mexican restaurants are, and she's like, "We need a variance. We need something a variety. We need some real good food, like you know, Olive Garden." Yeah, you saw. You, it. you watched Abe's Instagram story. You saw it, dude. I yeah. commented on yeah. it. I said. Uh, this lady's tripping. Oh, this lady's tripping. Like, why would you go from a home cooked meal? You've done. <laughs> yeah. this, this I need to run the dehumidifier or something. Yeah. Um, why would you go from a home cooked meal from a, 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 a independent Mexican woman or male, man or woman, making you food, to a corporation that's just dis? I mean, Olive yeah. Garden's not bad, so but it's, it's not like it's authentic. Like authentic tacos. It is authentic. Yeah. Like real food, right. authentic tacos, right. or Olive Garden. Or Olive Garden. I was like, th- she's not making the argument that she wants to make. If she, it was like some like rustic barbecue place or rustic new Italian spot, right? Like just the Italian family who made it. You know what I mean? Like that's cool. A homemade Italian meal, I would pay money for that. But if it versus I, fast food, which yeah. is what Olive Garden yeah. is, it's fast food. It was, she was making a point, but she did not hit a home run. Yeah, she big, swung and miss. Big chain restaurants are just. It's like why? Well, I don't food. want. I don't want it. I don't want an Applebee's. In I like our tacos. We have great tacos here. We do and tamales, bro. The yeah, tamales exceptional. Are so, I've been eating tamales Mexican like no one's business, bro. And gorditas and bro, they and they just make chalupas, bro. They crush it on Mexican food. And we have yeah. great Mexican. food. We love our taco. But bells. seventeen taco joints. You know what I mean? There's a lot for Goshen. There's a lot of taco places that only sell tacos. They're all good. I I actually Do you, have my opinion they, on some of them. Are they or not? Are There's they? some of them that are okay. Some of them are fire. Some of them are not so great. I, I had some tacos from a coworker. I would eat a lot of other tacos other than Los Primos. Is that is that blasphemous to say? No. It's I think not. Blasph- I think Los Primos is like a in the tier in the lower mm. tier of all of the Mexican. It's food. good, but it's also there. Yeah. Uh, instead of over there. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. So I had some tacos from the taco Co-worker. place in yep. front of uh, Menards. 
Oh, okay, yeah, nine one one. Holy yeah. cow, that place fi- is so fire. So good. Dude, their chascas, uh, this, which is corn in a cup, are so good. This coworker was your sister. Your sister was hanging she out knows. with my girlfriend, and she knows. Your sister bought me some steak tacos. Oh, they're so good. And she bought those me are four, like two dollar and fifty cent tacos. She bought me you. four steak tacos. Oh, she crushed Shout it. out to Hadessa. Yeah. Thank you. Shout out to Hadessa. Um, they we gotta wrap so... up because it is flashing on my phone right now. I am okay, sorry. Okay, we can we can pause. Could, no, we, we we're can, done. Do you want to wrap? Thank up? you guys. If, they were they were else? so good. It was like eight tacos worth of tacos for beautiful. four bucks. Yeah, it's beautiful. Or for the price of four. We should four wrap tacos. up. We're, we are we are way far. All right, into. this is the end. This good, is the end. Goodbye. Thank you guys so much for sending um, one questions, two for watching the YouTube videos. I see you. Thank you for making us chat on Shadow Bands. I also am so thankful for everyone that listens and watches. I mean, this is just a ridiculous ride. Thankful for Lincoln, who is drinking. <laughs> no, but for real, bro, I'm, I'm thankful for you. This podcast wouldn't be the same without you. It would not be the same without you either. Yeah. Yep. Um, make it sure to watch two. this. It takes two to tango. Make sure to watch us on YouTube. It also takes three to tango. I've I've been told. You've been tangoing before. Uh, if you guys have what what was the, what someday. was the call to action that we had? We wanted them to tell us if they've ever listened to a Joe Rogan episode. I'd love to hear that. If you've heard Joe Rogan's voice, <laughs> I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Uh, we'll catch you on Tuesday's episode where we're gonna go into the cult of whatever that lady's name was. Lay the 